Hey gang, Primal Punch here, Django here. Uh, coming at you with just a quick little deal on adding like an exercise fitness aspect to everyday type chores. And in this instance, it's specifically gonna be raking and pitchforking or shoveling, all right? Um, well, first, when we're raking, we, we try to make it easier on ourselves and we pull it toward us, okay? So what we're gonna do to add a little bit of a core workout and get the, uh, get the obliques a little bit, we're gonna go ahead and rake from the side by turning our core, okay? So set the arms, turn the core, all right? So we'll go ahead and do five or 10, five or 10 of this. And remember, we're drawing our navel back toward our spine whenever we're doing anything. We're drawing it in just a little bit to create like a, an interaction to tension between the abdominals and the lower back muscles. Then we'll switch over and do the same from the other side, all right? So we're twisting. Our feet are planted, our arms are set, and we're using those core muscles to drag. And now you'll feel this through your delts on the outside. Biceps, forearms, like that. All right, that's just super simple. If you're gonna be raking anyway, let's add a component of resistance to it. Now, for the pitchfork or the shovel, okay? For our purposes, we're just gonna have two grips, all right? This one is where the uh, hands are the same, and here, where they're opposing each other, all right? So, First off, we're going to make this like a whole body deal, okay? My preferred method for pitchforking off of a pile or shoveling something that's uh, loose and doesn't have a lot of resistance is this grip, okay? Where, all right, just kind of a standard grip you'd use if you're holding a weight, you know, a barbell. And then I like to jam it into the pile and fork. Now. You see how I turn that fork like this? That's working. The uh, extensors, alright? The, the forearm muscles to the outside. Then, if I want to beef up that bulge, then I'll dump her this way. You see? And if I switch hands, then I can dump this way or this way. And also, you know, if I switch my grip, then we want to go ahead and try to keep an equal number to both sides so we get a symmetrical build of strength as well as physique, okay? We are also going to add the knees, all right? We're not going to lean over. We're going to drop, a knee bend, come up. torsion, nice rotational repetition workout in your core, all right? Lower back, abdominals, obliques, everything. It's really great. So try it out. Add a little bit of resistance to your everyday routine. See what you can do to beef up that workout, you know, and, and just have fun with it, all right? But remember, anytime you're trying a new a new movement, a new exercise, a new workout. Go go low with weight and slow with speed to feel where it's impacting to make sure that we're being safe at all times, okay? So, just get that fork out. Boom. Pitchfork or shovel your way to bigger forearms and a better grip, all right? So, before I forget, you can alter the amount of resistance by moving your grip placement, okay? Out here, we're using leverage to our benefit, okay? And the further up we go, the more weight we're actually bearing, 
you'll feel it in your pectorals, forearm, shoulders, tricep on the outside arm, bicep on the inside. Um, and you really want to, you know, switch grips as you go. So, you know, don't don't do more than like say 10 or 20 reps to each, uh, you know, to one side before switching to the other. And like here, you'll really, really feel this, you know. So you can transfer, and then when you do your your dumps, you're getting even more resistance to the forearms and etc. I wanted to remember to add that in. All right. All right. So live free and punch hard. Raw and bend hard if you're bending. And be good to yourselves, okay? Because you're worth it, and I dig you. Catch y'all later. Bye now.